Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this Rincon Gen 2 Smart Ring. You can see it here on this 3D printed finger. And we got this nice little charging case. We'll cover this here in a little bit. So let's talk one thing about the ring first, um, the sizing. Now I ordered this in the same size I wear on my ring fingers and it's pretty snug. Um, I think I know why. The ring is not actually a full circle. It actually comes down here in squares where these sensors are. And I think that's robbing just a little bit of the internal diameter there. Um, just enough that it's snug. So you might keep that in mind. If the size you were gonna order is already snug, maybe go ahead and size up just one size. Uh, that's a decision you have to make. I have been wearing this in my sleep and everything. And while we're talking about sleep, let's talk about one of its features. It has sleep apnea monitoring, and they claim that they're the first ring to have that ability. Um, I tried that out. You have to manually engage it uh, before you go to sleep. And it detected four occurrences, and it didn't seem to think that was an issue. I will note that that day I had sinuses that were basically full of concrete, and I was struggling to breathe even sitting up. So I had to mouth breathe. I, uh, my body doesn't like to mouth breathe in my sleep. Um, like when I have a cold or something, I, I wake up a ton. So I think it detected those instances where I woke up because I wasn't breathing through my, I couldn't breathe through my nose. So as best as I can tell that works and that's pretty great. So we've talked about the sizing uh, again, just, just, just be forewarned that there is that little bit of the, the flat there and you know, you can see where it's kind of, I don't know how well you can see it, but I can see it where it is taking a nice little chunk off there. Whereas this competing brand, it's just built into the circle. Well, no, I guess it has that little flat lub too. They've just compensated for it on the internal diameter. So, you know, maybe they'll fix that. Um, if not, just uh, be prepared to maybe move up a size. So what kind of features does this thing have? Um, it's, it's, it's like a lot of health trackers. It will do your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels. Uh, it monitors your stress. The stress seems consistent with what this ring measures. Actually, all of it does, including my watch. Um, all three of these things are collecting, the same data that they all collect is within a, a acceptable margin of error of each other. You know, it's a few percent in either direction between them. So I, I have confidence that this is as accurate as any other device. Um, you know, it'll, it'll track your sleep, which is the primary reason why I like things like this. I don't care so much during the day because my watch is there, but I have a habit of taking my watch off in my sleep sometimes because, uh, you know, I don't know, just something about it. I do that with my earplugs too. Sometimes I take my earplugs out in my sleep. So this will detect signs of obstructive sleep apnea. They claim an accuracy of 90.7%. Um, again, you have to turn that on manually for now. Maybe they can push an update that'll let you set that on like a schedule or something. So battery life and design, we kind of covered on the design here. You know, it's just a simple ring. It is squared off. It's squared on the sides too, which is kind of nice. Cause like this competing one, it's really chunky on the sides and it like gets annoying. Whereas this, it's got kind of the flatter sides there and it just blends in and you, you hardly notice it there uh, in between your fingers at least. Whereas this one actually like pushes your fingers apart and, uh, that, that, that other brand just drives me nuts. But the battery life. Okay, this thing is amazing. This competing one, I have to charge every four or five days. This thing I'm getting eight or nine days and it still has enough battery that it's not telling me to charge it. They claim it'll get 10 to 12 days. I haven't tried it for that long it, it, without a recharge just because I don't want to forget and I, like die in my sleep. But like, I, I believe them. I legitimately believe them. I have no idea how this thing uses so little of the battery, whereas this thing, like pretty much every five days, I have to put it on the thing because it'll be yelling at me that it's low. So I love that. The really cool part is it's got this nice little case. This one doesn't, it has like a pedestal and USB-C and just having the cable plugged in lifts it up and it's annoying. This is a nice chunky piece of metal. Like it, it, it has some substance to it and it's, you know, it's, it's solid. So you put the ring on you just line up the little square. You can only put it on one way and then it starts charging and there you go. But they claim with this case, you can get up to 150 days of 
wear wearability out of this ring just because of how much battery capacity is in this thing. So I obviously, I've not had this thing 150 days, so I can't test that claim, but uh, I charged this when it was, when it first came and I've been using it to charge the ring and it's taking a fine. You know, you only get like a month. Sorry, I just went through puberty there apparently. If you only get a month out of this thing, it's freaking amazing. And you can, you know, if you're traveling or something, you don't have to worry about, you know, all this stuff. You just throw it in your bag. Um, what else? So it's not just about the sleep like I was talking about. You know, it'll do your blood oxygen levels. It'll do the stress tracking. Gives you, shows you when you, it thinks you were in stressful situations. And, you know, on a, on a, on a uh, you know, the lines, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the word. I hate charts. Um, in addition to that, you know, there's no subscription fees. This competing brand gives you some basic stuff, but all of the cool stuff they charge you an additional fee for. This ring does not do that. And they both look similar in the app. Um, this one does have more features though. So hopefully it stays that way. So what are the pros and cons, right? <clears throat> we'll start with the pros. Uh, the sleep apnea monitoring, if that's a valid concern of yours, you can have this and it can detect that. And then you can go for like a proper sleep study or something and talk to your doctor and be like, hey, I've got this evidence. Uh, maybe we go me in for a sleep study or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, the cons are though, that is still waiting FDA clearance. And, you know, that may or may not come. So take it with a grain of salt, right? Uh, another con is the price. You know, it's, it's a little on the pricey end. I won't say the price because, you know, prices change, but at the time of this review, it is a little on the higher end. I mean, this one wasn't exactly cheap either. And, you know, they're comparable to like a cheaper Apple Watch. And then the sizing again. Like, this thing I never have a problem, size 14. This is size 14 and like, even on this finger, you know, it it it's snug. So... Maybe they can uh, get it slightly truer to the sizes there. So in conclusion, uh, what is this, Rincon 2? This is the version 2. I like it. Uh, other than the size, I like it. But I again, I want to stress that I love how thin it is on the sides, whereas this one's not. So if you get it and it fits great, I think you'll love this thing. Um, I'm really loving getting into these these smart rings and smart watches and all these health trackers and stuff. Like I'm just a nerd and I like having the data and it sure has it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this re review, give me a thumbs up, uh, tick that bell, you know, do all those things that help my channel out. I will leave a link to this in the description in the sticky comment. And thank you for stopping by.